it's the third best, which is pretty good. It is the third best film. It's better than Predators. It's better than the AVP films. And it's better than that trash change and black film. So it's the third best film. It's not as good as Predator 2. No. Predator 2 is still the second best film. And that may be an unpopular thing, but I believe Predator 2 is still the second best film. So again, this is a non-spoiler review, so I want to just give a general thoughts about this. This film is good. It is good. I believe this is the third best film of all of the films, I think. I believe it's better than that trash Shane Black did. It's better than Predators. Um, it's well shot, well directed, well put together. I like the acting. Okay, the acting was solid. Um, so look, okay, to start off with, it's good. It's a good film. Um, and it's really, in a general sense, understands what it is about the Predator films that makes it so good. But see, but see, this is why I respect Predator 2. Because again, with this film, I say, leave the, the jungle, leave the forest. I thought, oh, this was great that they were doing this, um, with a Native American tribe. But it's funny, when I saw the trailer, I thought it would have the same vibe as Apocalypse. I thought, oh no, they're going to be really brave where little dialogue, and if there's any dialogue, it would actually be in their language. So it would actually be in a in the Native American language, so it would have sub subtitles. So I thought it would be like, I thought it would literally be Apocalypse but with pre Predator. So even halfway through, I said, if that racist ass Mel Gibson directed this, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty crazy. Um... Here's the thing. Again, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but perhaps my biggest issue with this film was how the Predator presented the Predator. Because when you look at Predator 1 and Predator 2, the beauty about it, that was the, 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 the precedent, the beautiful precedent set by the first film was less is more. Less is more. Less is more. The less you see of it, the more effective it is. And I think what made Predator 2 so good was this is now in the city. So, hmm, imagine this thing within the context of the city. So there is, so you have a particular story going on within the city with cops, police cops, corruption, guys going against this and different gangs going against each other. And within that story of gang warfare and the police trying to stop gang warfare, you now have the Predator just intersecting within it, which is what made Predator 2 so refreshing because it was so different from the first film. Because... You will never, you will know, you will never live up to the first film. It's impossible. The first film is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. So you, that's why I said, like, if I was making a Predator film, I wouldn't even go anywhere near anything like a jungle. I may go into the future. I may go into medieval times, Little America, the, the Old West, the Wild West, anything that is not the jungle. So I can't be compared to the first film where I know I will fail. Um, you see, the lead. She did a good job. She's a decent actor. But I just wouldn't have cast her. Because when you look at Danny Glover and you look at Arnie, there's a particular kind of energy you have to get from your lead. And for me, this isn't like a, a female thing. Why is Alien and Alien so amazing? Because of how good Sigourney Weaver was. Why is... Um, why is... Ooh, Tito so good? Because of the um, amazing performance that, because of the amazing performance and how right Linda Hamilton was for the role, why are the Kill Bill films so good? Because of how good and how right Uma Thurman was. So you have to pick the right person. Because I, I think, no, going for a female Miss America, I think that's great. You have to pick the right one. Because if you pick the right one that has the right kind of energy, I think that is great. They pick the wrong one because of me. She looks like a girl, and she runs like a girl. I would have picked a woman. Okay, I would have picked a woman. Because that makes sense. I'm sorry. I am not making a film where a girl goes up against a predator. That's that's stupid. It's a freaking predator. Okay? Like, this is one of the most lethal things before. So I don't want a story about how, well, a little girl can still fight a big predator. That's stupid. Honestly, no. Because, look, Danny Glover is not a boy. He's a man. Um, well, what's it called? And he's not a boy. He's, he, he's a man. So have a woman go up against her. Like, a, a tough, Hannah's Nails tough, um, Apache Native American woman, and I think that would have been great. So, for, I just because even when I saw her in the action scenes, I, I just said, this, this just looks stupid. This just looks stupid. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but the it's very violent. 
But I just felt that the way the Predator was presented in this, as violent as it was and as crazy as it was, and the, the scenes are intense, I just felt there was it, there was better sophistication. I it felt more, it felt scarier in the first two films. That's why I always use Predator 2. Because Predator 2 had to follow up from the first film. And why Predator 2 was so good was, whenever you saw the Predator doing his thing, you really felt the fear within everyone. Which is why, what you should always do is, you put it in a particular setting, and now the people in the medieval times, or in the old ways, are now reacting to, what the hell is this going on? So look, I mean, I thought it was decent, was good, enjoyable, um, but I just felt like it's, again, it's the third best, which is pretty good. It is the third best film. It's better than Predators. It's better than the AVP films. and It's better than that trash change and black film. So it's the third best film. It's not as good as Predator 2. No. Not as good as Predator 2. And nothing beats the first Predator. So, but yeah, I I would recommend it. If you can find a way to watch it and so forth, it, it's a good watch. It's not a classic, but I think it's a good, enjoyable watch. But I just, as good as it is, I just don't think it is as sophisticated or as good or it's really delivered on what a Predator film should be like the first two films. Peace out, stay true, more love.